We are recording. Hello. Hello. <laughs> we have gathered here uh, for another super casual uh, writer's corner, writing corner chat. And uh, since it's mid-April, I I figured. Wait, everything is frozen. I oh, know. Okay, never mind. <laughs> uh, since it's uh, since it's mid-April and we declared so boldly that April shall be short story month. <laughs> so uh, the idea is to recap what we have done so far. And in that vein, uh, I think I think it's been quite successful. I'm going to say with Scribe and the Doctor. Yes. So, uh, and now I'm showing on the screen all the doodads that we that we have been doodadding. Uh, so, somewhere early April, we got I got this idea that uh, let's focus on the short story refining for a while. Especially since there might be some uh, traveling in the in the stars, so the goal was to get certain short stories into such a state that I can just edit them on my own. And the editor death beam. <laughs> and what we came up with. Uh, what we came up with was that we we lifted some of the existing drafts into a later pile and stopped worrying about them and refocused on some others. And we also uh, amended the theme of the first planned collection. So if at first the the theme was just uh, oh hey here are some characters let's meet them the first time uh, sort of thing, then now the theme is a little bit more f more we're trying to tie in the theme of the first short story collection to the uh, bigger Chaos Nova story. So there would be two types of stories. Ones are where we meet some characters that have something to do with the with the bigger events, and the second batch that might build up into the second collection is certain key events. S these categories might still meld and and mix a little bit. I'm not. Uh, a hundred percent sure, but but right now, the the bits that we are working right now, were chosen based on the uh, the chaos nodes as seen through certain characters or like certain characters that kick off some chaos. And what we have is what we have left. After we had uh, refined that uh, that more specific uh, theme, it was very apparent that a few stories that we initially had in this uh, bundle did not belong. So we just lifted them elsewhere. Uh, and now what we have left is uh, picking up trash, which is uh, the player characters the opening salvo of two player characters and this is one of those stories that doesn't require too much editing because we have already done the uh, big structural stuff so this is more of a touch-up touch up job then we have salvage mission which was the bonus story in uh, seeker released form which again doesn't need huge work but uh, based on some some criticisms or critique uh, it could use a few nudges here and there but still not not huge work then we have space junk uh, which is 
the opening salvo of my player character. And again, <laughs> and, and, and again, uh, it has been. I I have uh, edited it back and forth for several purposes already. So this one is again for a for just a touch up thing. And now, uh, the new newer ish uh, stories that required more work are. Scribe and the Doctor, Split Personality, Chapter 1 Repurposed, and Destiny's Trials. Uh, Ouch! <laughs> yeah. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> so, Destiny's Trials and Split Personality are again opening salvos of certain player characters, both, no, all three of them Noxes. And uh, Scrub and the Doctor is a rather new story, I think. You wrote it yeah. some last year somewhere yeah. and scribe and the doctor is the story that we've been working on uh, first half of the April and it's been great fun yeah it's actually been really enjoyable and every time you type another sentence for 16 I fall more and more in love with it <laughs> uh, which is awesome just it's been really great fun yeah, so with the uh, Scribe and the Doctor, we did a first editing round or, or refining or rebuilding round uh, in October, and somewhere along the lines, we ran into a bit of a. Uh, into a stale state where. So, so we. Let's say the the story at some point the work process started suffering from what I call over outlining. So we kept we kept saying and 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 then this will happen and this will happen and this will happen, but no actual text was coming out. Uh, so we we actually sorted out uh, some scenes to some great detail, but the but but some key points were kind of open and. And so what I'm scrolling on the screen right now is the over outlining wall of text. There's uh, there are some usable text fragments here, but like there's there's a whole page worth of just just saying what will happen. And then nothing actually happens. <laughs> However, we we did sort out the middle part, or most of the middle part in October, and then the winter came, and then the brains sort of like uh, yeah. healed <laughs> over, <laughs> and and then it was and then it was New Year, and then the brains remained keeled over, etc. However, uh, come spring, we are thawing out from the hibernation, and uh, let's see. I think some some parts of scene four, the complete scene five, and most of the end bits is what we've managed to uh, work out now. So it still looks quite messy. It still it is still not like clean text, uh, and occasionally it is fragments presented as the script for the text, not actual text. But uh, but uh, but this is mostly uh, this is mostly the material that I can carry on uh, on my own, especially when I'm injecting some conspiracies and uh, and uh, biotech company references here and there. So, your thoughts, impressions, uh, memoirs? I think this is a good way of doing it. Uh, we're, we're aware that I'm going away on holiday uh, mm -hmm. and getting stuff ready for while I'm away is a good way of doing this. We can work on it in the time we're together and then when I do go, it's stuff's ready and there mm -hmm. and and you can dive into it, and I think I like the, I like this working method. Yeah, like there's a time window to do something, and uh, 
at the same time there is no pre uh, the the pressure isn't to completely complete all the completion <laughs> which is a quick way to paralyze yourself as we have mm. learned uh so there is there's a time window there is a task and uh right now uh the decision that we <coughs> i made <laughs> was that <laughs> from this week uh we shall leave scribe and doctor alone again and mm. and start picking on on another uh, short story so it's like yeah we could we could keep on tinkering together but actually now i already have what what i need here and uh, and i can just carry on with it uh another useful i would say technique strategy hack that that we have run into is that i can waffle on about shit like without lunch at the same time when it comes to writing things down it's a it's an agonizing process for me so i don't i don't know how we didn't think of it earlier <laughs> it's like <laughs> mind blowing <laughs> <laughs> so so basically uh our genius our our genius knows no equal because at at one point we discovered that we can we can actually do it so that i keep on waffling and then nux writes down what i'm waffling about <laughs> <laughs> which produces a perfectly uh uh perfectly processable uh, wafts of text or fragments mm -hmm. so even if it's even if it's not uh, material that that you can use in its final form uh, it does uh, sort of uh, bypass a certain slow processes and and gives me the sort of dirty fragmented text that i can again start editing Look. and you can be a bit more freer yeah as well when because you're not worrying about writing it down like you can just speak say what you're thinking yeah yeah uh, and i mean of course the this process has it has its hiccups and uh, and its downsides and sometimes when i'm going on and over the long tangent that i hear like <laughs> no, 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 no! Don't, don't, don't! Just But, uh, but, but overall, it's it's a super useful tactic. I mean, I I guess other people do it anyway when they dictate their fiction, but that's a little bit different. I I I think um, if I would have to dictate text, uh, then it would still use the same brain part that, that that I'm using when I I need to first write something down and and that 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 is something that is very slow and very uh, arduous to get going but uh, if it's a sort of if it's a flowing conversation or a commentary on something then it sort of just flows out it's like yeah. like a let's play or a yeah yeah like let's play or, or or commentary stream the other nice part about it is uh we don't like when when we don't know the word or when you don't know the word for something you say like do dad or yeah. such and such and thing and thing and then when we come back and read those this is a totally other point but when we come back and then read those notes and you see all these sort of like off words that super serious paragraph and then like <laughs> do dad and things and you know it, it it does lighten the mood a lot as well, so I think that's important. Plus, it makes uh, good Twitter fodder. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> because uh, I'm uh, I'm lazy as fuck, and I don't. Uh, <laughs> uh, sometimes I do make uh, stuff specifically for uh, for posting, but uh, it feels so much greater if you can just utilize the bits and pieces that go along with the word process anyway plus there is some raw organic charm in that <laughs> that <laughs> that fertile stench of uh, word poopery <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it worked really well for Twitter for that <laughs> yeah uh, so for example uh, 
I've been posting screenshot pieces of uh, of this uh, this document on Twitter for the last two weeks, and I think it contains at least a few doodads, uh, at least one stuff and things, <laughs> uh, and uh, and more. And then there's like that really serious. Oh, there's. There's a sort of la 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 moment, and then something kind of serious happens, and it sort of jars you when you're reading the <laughs> Oh, oh, right then, okay. <laughs> like real life! Okay. I've enjoyed it. Yeah, and, uh, and uh, unlike, uh, unlike with the. Uh, with the. What was what was the point that I wanted to say? I wanted to make a contrast between this sort of uh, uh, freeform capturing and and outlining. So it's like uh, certain certain interviews and podcasts and hangouts that we regularly watch. They they always uh, uh, ask people whether they are more more a pantser or a or a planner and. And every time I I think how I would answer it, and it's it's always like neither. It's a it, it it's a, it's a whole other uh, uh, tightrope kind of safari thing. <laughs> yeah. Anything. Also. Yeah. Uh, just quickly, the original. See, I, my approach is very much pants where I sit down and I just mm -hmm. waffle on and on and on and on and then I share it with you and the, and the process becomes much different. Mm -hmm. the, the version of Scribe and the Doctor we've got right now looks nothing like the version that I wrote all that time ago. Mm -hmm. I think the only things that have remained is that we're at a facility and the two characters run into a third and that and that's sort of like all that remained from the first draft and that it, it's yeah. good it's much better do you realise what you just did what did I just do you summarised the story <gasps> <laughs> it's a new day <laughs> so a character arrives in the secret facility uh, on a mission to find some data runs into another character, interacts with them, finds some data, and to together they will run into a third character who will complicate things. <laughs> and on that note, I think I'm, uh, I haven't really got anything to say, I don't think. Yeah, me neither. I think okay. I, uh, my wafflings uh, out-waffled themselves. <laughs> so yes, this is, uh, the first half of uh, short story April. Uh, at this point, uh, the public sharing of Scribe and the Doctor concludes, and uh, in the coming days, we're gonna start working with a different story and start uh, sharing bits and pieces and and do that from that. So stay tuned. I am. A any last words? I am doing the end spiel now, and and I'm about to stop recording. I got nothing. Me neither. Thank you for watching, though. Yep. Yeah. Bye.